October 8th and I just want to say thank you. It's 1.58 in the morning and I just got out the shower. I got, I'm up, but as I was laying here, I was just like, I want to say thank you to all my, sus <laughs> I was going to say supporters. <laughs> I want to say thank you so much to all my supporters. Like, thank you all so much. If you are watching this, then I'm talking to you. Like, if you're watching me right now on your phone, your tablet, your TV, like, whatever device that you're watching me on, I just want to say thank you to you, to you, because... You all have been like my verbal diary. Like, instead of writing in my journal, I have just been picking up the camera and speaking how I feel. And then someone out there in the universe on the opposite side of the screen is watching me rant and rave and tell you about my crazy stories and tell you about the parish down shifting content that i'm learning about that i want to share with you all that i have been sharing with you all you all giving me the ideas to even do the video scripting in the first place and then me not knowing what to do or how to do it having to research so you held me accountable and you made me grow and you made me get up and do the work even though i was just was fucking talking about it at first you actually made me get up and have to do the work you all have helped keep me accountable on this platform and i am so grateful to each and every one of you all all 1939 of you all somebody subscribe yeah um somebody else subscribe yes i think i got a 1940 1940 i am just so grateful thank you for sticking with me because some people get some people be some people be getting mad at me. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You you know this, man. I don't give a fuck. I'll cut your motherfucking ass out and cook you dinner, bitch. Like, that's what it's all about. This is my journey. This is my channel. Like, this is Akila galore, okay? And Okay, I'm getting carried away. I digress. Anyway, I want to say thank you so much. Like, don't, these are just like my late night thoughts. So, we want to say, I want to say thank you to be a supporter to me. Because I be with the shit and I don't even know where this shit going. I just be picking up my phone and talking to it because that's how I feel. And I'm down here in my Emmy. Y'all know I ain't got no motherfucking, um, dog. I don't, I, I be so motherfucking paranoid. I don't trust people, like, but I trust y'all. I trust y'all. I trust y'all. I trust y'all. Like, but in IRL, in real life, each, like, what? <laughs> what you want? I be like, bitch, why you want to be my friend? Why you want to be my friend? Why you want to know me? Bitch? Like, why you want to be in my space? <laughs> Cause a bitch real, a bitch really got some loose screws up in this motherfucker, and y'all be goddamn chilling with me and goddamn like shout out to the shout out to my subscriber who said that she finds my story, my content to be interesting, so she doesn't want me to stop posting my SB story, so I won't, cause it you know it only take one of y'all to tell me <laughs> something and I'll try it. And I'll stick with it or, you know, take it into consideration because every single one of y'all, your points, you fucking matter. You know, I want to let you know you fucking matter. You fucking matter. You know, you might not matter to everybody in the world, but you matter. Okay. You might not matter to your motherfucking neighbor sometimes because my neighbors don't be motherfucking mattering to me sometimes. I be like, these motherfucking noisy ass motherfucking people out here through the goddamn wall. I don't want to hear all the goddamn noise all the time. But when I see them, I'll be like, you know what? That's God's child. That's a reflection of me. And I should be kind to that motherfucker. I should be kind to that motherfucker. So I say good morning. Hey, good morning. And I keep the motherfucking moving. But I just want to say thank you so much for being a supporter to me.
<laughs> I've been doing good. I, I still got, let me tell you something else. I got a little spliff. And I usually would smoke the whole thing, but I took some puffs. I probably took six puffs with two hour intervals because it was that strong. And I was like, bitch, you is a high functioning pothead. You, you's been a high functioning pothead. A high, 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 high functioning pothead. God damn. Because I ate that one and I was. I swear I've been talking to God all day. I think I'm talking to him right now. But for real, you know, me and God, we tight like that. And I, me and God, me and God became tight like that back. You know, I think me and God have always had a personal relationship because my mom introduced me to him. And my mom used to just talk about him like he was a person. And so I used to be, you know, but I always, in my mind, he's always been an invisible man. You know, and then um, the way I kind of started grasping onto spirituality, he became more so not like a man, but more so like a spirit, an entity. I started looking at him as an entity. And then I started like hearing his, I would be by myself a lot because growing up as the oldest child, I would have to like put, I would be like the last one to go to sleep in the house. So I would be up a lot and I would just like hear these different voices. And I started like, um, I used to think I was going crazy and uh, losing my mind. And my mom used to be telling me I need to ask God for discernment. So I started asking like this man that I don't know that I've never seen before, but that he's a, he, he's a miracle worker. And other people be talking about him all the time. And they say he got a son named Jesus, but you know, once I started looking more into the Bible, I started realizing that Jesus is me. You know, from my perspective, you don't have to believe in my philosophy, but I've kind of feel like if you look at the Bible, like uh, the Bible is a book of knowledge to me. And I feel like we are like each and every one of us is our own Jesus. And you have, that story is applicable to you in its own right. And then all throughout your lifetime, you're going to go through these different paths. And, and there's always going to be a story to reflect back on to help you get to it get through it because the bible is read for you can read the bible and have your own you read the bible and you get your own understanding don't tell people don't read the bible for your own understanding okay you can listen to these other teachers out here but read it for your own understanding trust me trust me so once i started looking at the bible from that perspective like you know i feel like we all done had a Judas in our life. We all done had like each and every, each one of the disciples. The the one that has been the most known to me is Judas because that motherfucker betrayed me too. You know, and I feel like Jesus and goddamn, I had a Judas betray me and I knew it was happening, but that shit, ooh, I wish I would have kept my composure. Pause because. I know good and goddamn well. I held my composure for more than eight years. When I think of the Judas that was in my life, like the first Judas that I ever had, like I had a, a few Judases in my life, but the one that was the most that like, that put a knife in me and then turned it and I didn't say nothing for like, and she didn't say nothing and we didn't say nothing. I got the story on my motherfucking story. Like on my, mm -hmm, when I think of her, I'd be like, oh, yeah. I was calm just like Jesus. I was more like Jesus, but all throughout my life, I've had to learn how to be more like Jesus, you know? So, yeah, that's why I feel like I got a super close relationship with God. Like, me and God, we tight like that. And ever since I came down here to Miami, see, like, he isolated me away from everything that I knew. And he put me down here so that I could hear more of his voice. And I, that's what I've been doing. So I've been like, I fast a lot. I work out a lot. I spend a lot of time with God. I pray a lot. And that's why I be my wild, crazy self like I am. Because I know that God got my back. And then I get on here and tell y'all about my crazy ass stories. Because I know God got my back. And it's like, no matter who try to ever try to go against me in my life, I know God got my back. And no matter what it is that I'm facing, I know God got my back. You, you you feel me? I moved down here to Miami Beach 
First, I had a motherfucking job. Three months later, I lost my motherfucking job. Bitch, and I've been thugging ever since. And I, it's been a year. <laughs> tell me God ain't real. You can't motherfucking tell me God ain't real. <laughs> so when I see a bitch like Amber Rose on the internet with a tattoo across her motherfucking forehead talking about some bullshit, you think I want to hear that? No. Everybody got their own belief, but I don't fuck with atheists. Don't bring them near me. Stay your ass. Well, you got your values and your beliefs. I got mine. But everybody who support me on my channel, I just wanted to say thank you so much. Because I wouldn't be here without you all. You all have supported me and put up with my shit and like my videos and subscribe to my videos and share my channel. And that is my sign to goddamn go. <laughs> But I just wanted to say thank you so much for your love, support, and I just wanted to give you a little bit of my testimony. It get, it go deep for me, baby. <laughs> this shit is it go deep. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.